Welcome back to Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. We're in the town of Sedet, and we've got a few things to do. We need to find the informer that is providing information to the raiders that's hurting Frederick Dream's business. We need to kill Tadius, former member of the Children of the Cathedral, which I've already found. I just need to go back and talk to him. Uh, I'm not actually going to kill him, but maybe there's something else we can do to resolve the quest. And then probably the biggest thing is to kill Juan Rodriguez and his deputy to help the ghouls out. So first thing, we're right here. Let's talk to Frederick's people and see if we can find out the culprit. Tim lifts his head from the box full of old documents he was just going through and looks at you, clearly agitated. Oh well, what do you need from me? Can't you see I'm very busy? Hmm. Oh right, I'm supposed to take them to the bar, aren't I? Hmm. Alright, let's go to the bar. I'm sorry, but that won't do. I've got things I need to finish. Besides, I'm not on very good terms with alcohol. Come on, a little fun time will only do you good. Frederick would surely agree. What do you say? Uh, it'd be nice to take a break from all those papers. Yeah, why not? Let's go out. But just for a while. No one will check the accounts for me. Alright, let's go. Tim brings you to the crater. I'm here for the first time myself, but our caravan guards won't say half an ugly word about this place. What shall we have? Um, I'll have... water. <laughs> uh, I can't do that. I don't know. Beer? Sure. The contents of the first glass disappeared in your throat and the other soon followed. You don't have a clear idea how long you two have been drinking, but Tim's evidently getting to his limits. His face is paled, and he speaks with great difficulty. It seems to you it's the time to start your investigation. <laughs> is this what I got my speech skill so high for? Just to get somebody drunk? I seriously feel like I haven't used my speech skill at all. Uh, Tim, tell me what you really think of Frederick. Tim gets even paler and gulps down. He's a good boss. I don't have nothing against... He gulps down again. Hmm. How is it really with those raiders? I don't know. I know... Can't fight anymore. He throws up and falls to the floor. Uh... Drank a little too much? <laughs> oh no, I've lost perception. Crap. Welp. Tim's got enough. Hmm. Well, can't say for sure whether it's him or not. Crap. I think there were, what, two other people in Frederick's uh, business? Don't remember their names, but I'm sure we'll find them. Let's just talk with everyone. I guess they're probably inside, huh? Although, oh wait, is... Oh! <laughs> Tim beat me back here, went from unconscious to, uh... Beating me back to his place. Okay. Don't even try it, you won't get me to another bar no more. Well... Oh, here we go. Don't know who this is, but, um... How about we go to a bar? To the bar? Why the hell not? I've got at least an eternity to wait for the next caravan, so I don't mind getting drunk a bit. I can go right now. Alright, let's go. <laughs> don't need to convince them of anything. Um, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. What do you want? Let's have beer. Let's just go through this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hit swimming. Okay, I'm super drunk. Mm, looks like the boost has no effect on frost. Alright, guess he's got a resistance. Hope I don't end up passing out. Maybe I should have slept before doing this again. Uh, what do you think of Frederick? Obviously can't hold your liquor, huh? He laughs. He's fine, he pays well and doesn't order me around much. That's all I need from my boss, so I don't pay more attention to him. What else do you need to know? 
So how about them raiders? Wink. They're pigs. They attack our caravans like cowardly rats. Whenever they come, there's at least twice as many of them as us. I'd shoot all of them if I could. But remember this, they won't get frost. Alright, definitely not that person. So one is unknown, one is definitely not. Oh, it looks like I gained the perception that I lost and then lost perception. Okay, so I guess I don't need to sleep in between this. Okay, is there anybody in here? I don't think so. Am I allowed in here? I guess so. Nope, so it's gotta be someone out here. Oh, here we go. Jeremy gives you a bored look. What do you want? Wanna go for a drink? <laughs> I don't know you at all. Well, the hell with it, why not? Alright. Beer. Uh, starting to feel sick. Jeremy's not looking any better, but he keeps drinking. All right, just don't pass out, please. So, what do you think of your boss? Ooh, here we go. Frederick, he's a dipshit. A com completely simple-minded loser who... Did you know everybody in the company is paid better than me? That fucker. Damn, if it wasn't from generous raiders that... Uh, ooh. Oh, yes, you did speak, Jeremy. Speak. Look. Leave it alone and we'll all be fine. How about money? Money can solve anything. I'll give you a hundred. Wait, uh, two hundred caps and you forget everything. Or even better, you blame it on Tim. I can't stand that fucking prick. We'll get something from Frederick as well as I. I'll be completely out and safe. What'd you say? Deal? Hell no. Making a mistake. Big mistake. Uh, you're gonna try to kill me, aren't you? They just disappear. They just disappeared. Let's go tell Frederick. I probably should sleep off the lost perception, but um, given what just happened, I don't think I really have time for that. Is that him? He's, he just went back. Okay. I've got some news for you. About the raiders. Found the person responsible. Jeremy. He lowers his head. And I trusted him so much. But we must ensure that he can't endanger any more lives. You have to get him out of town somehow. There you'll tell him he may never return, but don't hurt him, no matter what. The exile will be sufficient punishment for him. Hmm. I was expecting him to be more bloodthirsty, but no, he's being very reasonable about it. Alright, I'll take care of it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> well, I can be kind of sort of nice about it, or just say shut up and come with me. Oh, uh, sure. You should have spared me the slur. I didn't rat on you. Frederick offered me a little job out of town. He says you're to go with me. Trudge off into the wasteland just like that? Forget it. I'm not going anywhere. You can go tell Frederick that. Uh, I'm not quite sure where this is going, but, um, I'm not saying it's just like that. How about 100 caps? You get something from it? No, wait. Eh. Should I do this? Pay them? No, hold on. Shut up and come with me or else I'll kill you. 
You gonna threaten me? Maybe I didn't say it clearly enough before. Get away from me. Oh, okay, so that, those are my two options. Either pay him to come with me or just kill him. Alright. Seriously, like, are my speech skills ever even being used? Does not feel like it. Alright. Oh, it costs more this time. Crap. Fine, whatever. 200 caps. He thinks about it for a while and eventually decides to accept the caps. Well, okay. I guess I can sacrifice some of my precious time. Where are we going exactly? You'll see. Set out for the desert with Jeremy. You are in the middle of a plane stretching to the horizon in all directions. The long journey exhausted Jeremy considerably. He seems to be very edgy. Damn, there's nothing here. What are we supposed to be doing here? Shut up. Frederick knows everything. He wants you to leave Seta for good. So get lost and don't try coming back. So Frederick knows what I've been doing to him and he'll settle with banishing me from the town? That loser doesn't even have the balls to have me killed. What about you? You can't be that yellow. Come on, why don't you try to take me down? Ah, just get lost. Spits in your direction. Yep, let him leave. See ya. Wonder how far we are out of town. Oh, just barely. Let's make sure it's daytime. There we go. Gain my perception back. Good. Mm-hmm. Taking care of the rat. Couldn't have done it on my own. It gives you 300 caps. You deserve the money. And I've got another job for you. Alright, what do you got? At the time of your absence, I managed to find out where the raiders set up their main hideout. Those cutthroats are right here and set it. More precisely, in Lost Town. That's how they're able to attack my caravans right outside the town. Rumor is they're hiding somewhere underground, but I didn't find out how to get to them. Ooh. Good, I've got to go to Lost Town really soon anyway to take out Rodriguez. Alright, what do you want me to do? Find their hideout and kill all of them. I'm afraid there's no other way to prevent further attacks on the caravans. Alright, what's the pay? I know it's a challenging task, but I can't offer you more than a thousand caps. It's all I can spare right now. Okay. I really, really, really want to buy that assault rifle before I do something like that, but I'm pretty sure I don't have anywhere near the money. Um, let's go to the priest that I'm supposed to kill and just see if I can do anything with that. Are you Tadius, former member of the Children of the Cathedral? That's me. Seems you came to me with something specific in your mind. Hmm. I've come to warn you that Dimitri from the Crimson Caravan wants to kill you. He hired me to do it. And why haven't you done it yet? Why haven't you killed another stranger for a handful of cursed caps like I'm sure you've done so many times before? You really wish to die? Strange question. We're already dead. All of us. Humankind should have died out when we destroyed ourselves. What's happening now? That ain't living. It's dying. Nobody cares. Me the least of all. Go ahead and kill me. But I'd appreciate if you fulfilled my last wish. Alright. I want you to carry out my revenge on Dimitri, because it's obvious I'll never be able to do it on my own. I want you to inject him with this. Pulls out a syringe filled with green liquid. I'm saving it for myself, but it doesn't matter now. Once it could have been my salvation, now it's going to be his punishment. Um... No? What is it? F.E.V. Don't be afraid, it's just a small diluted amount. He won't feel anything. 
but the virus will start working slowly, and you'll feel the change in several weeks or months. At first, it will be fine. It will be stronger. You'll feel better. Later, the slow change will become painful, visible, and he will become aggressive. In the end, he'll become that which he hates most. A super mutant. So you want me to inject that into him? Yes, you have to promise me. There's nothing left for me but to believe you and hope you'll really do it. If you can promise this, you can kill me. I won't be any trouble. It'll be a sweet release for me. I'm not gonna do that. Super mutants are very dangerous, so at, if nothing else, even if I didn't care about Dimitri at all, what about the fact that they might just, like, kill the entire town once they turn into a super mutant? Yeah, I'm not planning to kill you, so just hold on to that syringe. You won't kill me. You can't kill a feeble old man. I'll have to wait for Dimitri to send someone more useful. I won't do it, and that's it. Alright, I guess that quest is not going to have any sort of completion, unless I want to kill someone, which I don't. Hmm. Alright, where does that leave me? So, what was it, like around 3,000 for that rifle? I've got a couple guns to sell. Hmm, I don't think I have enough money. A couple guns aren't worth that much, are they? Well, let's go see. Maybe it's just enough. It probably isn't enough. I suppose I could peek my head into the Lost Town and just see if I can make a little money before I get into anything too deep. Or I could even do one of those caravan quests, but I'd rather not do that until I'm actually, like, moving on. Because I think you, you know, accompany the caravan to one of the towns that you kind of need to for the story anyway. So I'd rather not do that, and then come back, and then go there again. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Actually, hold on a second. Didn't Carrie said she, say she was good at bartering? And I didn't know how to use that? Like... It must be passive, right? Yeah, it must be passive. There's no way to, like, control her directly to talk to the vendor. Okay, 3400. So, knife, weapon, weapon. Uh, I'll sell all this ammo, I guess. How much is that worth? Decent amount. I'll even sell these freaking things. Where's my money? There it is. Still not enough. Hmm. I mean, the Mentats would make it enough. I suppose I'm probably not going to use the Mentats. I don't want to use them. Yeah, okay. I could ditch them. Alright, that's fine. And, uh, what type of ammo does this use? A 5mm. That's 5mm. I hope this isn't a mistake. Armor piercing or hollow point? Hmm. Let's go with armor piercing. How much can I get? So, for 50, it's... Ooh. That puts it over budget. Is it worth it to, like, spend so much just to buy a gun that I don't even have that much ammo for? I don't think it is. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna save up a little bit more money. But I will sell these weapons. And I guess I'll sell the Mentats. No, they don't have enough money to give me all that. Micromanaging like crazy. 
Alright, that's fine. I guess I'll take a little bit of ammo. Yeah, let's get some ammo for my Desert Eagle. Let's go full metal jacket. That's probably gonna be too expensive, right? Alright, that's fine. Just give him a little bit of money. I don't know how much that is. Let's try 50. Nope. Not all. Yeah, whatever. Close enough. Okay. Let's go to Lost Town. Now, I've heard there's death claws on the way there, but I've also heard that that might just be an attempt to scare people away from going there. If there are death claws, I'm screwed. I mean, there's no way I could take them on. I think it's up here. Yeah, over here. Don't count on us coming to your rescue when it gets sticky in there. What are you talking about? This here passage is the, uh, in the rock is the way to Lost Town, which by itself is far from being a safe place. But the main problem is inside. He points towards the entrance. There are death claws in there. So why don't you just shoot the death claws? Yeah, sure, why didn't we think of that idea before? After all, all men are hot for trying their fighting skills against huge fast beasts with claws that rip through armor like a knife through butter. Jokes aside, what would be the point? The way I see it, they at least discourage the smarter people from going to Lost Town. The dumb ones, well, sometimes you can hear them scream from right here. So what are you standing here for if you leave the Death Claws be and you don't stop people from going in? We're here to stop the Death Claws from entering the town. Fortunately, they keep to the inside of the cave, so it's an easy shift. Is there any other, they, 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 any other way to get to Lost Town? Only if you left the city and went all the way around them rocks, but it's a damn long stretch uh, to walk, and you probably wouldn't find it anyways if you haven't been there before. Hmm. So nobody here goes to Lost Town at all. There's always a couple of madmen trying to slip through, but they rarely make it through. You can't outrun a Deathclaw once it's spotted you. Hmm. Uh, what's in the town? Yep. Criminals, junkies, uh-huh. Kind of just going in circles here. Alright, thanks for the heads up. I wonder if it is even possible to go around. Well, let's just try it. Let's hope... There are no actual death claws, and it's all ju oh god, what is it? What the hell is that? Oh, it's an immature death claw, it's a baby death claw, it's kinda cute. Oh, you know what? I I don't think they have armor. Unless their skin is armored or something. I wonder if I should be using hollow point? Don't tell me that's the only thing in here, is just like little baby death claws, and that's what they're afraid of. Nine points of damage. Yeah, I'm gonna put the other type of ammo in. There we go. Get him, Woofer. Nineteen points of damage. Much better. Yeah, 
Let me get a little bit closer. All right. Three hundred fifty experience points for just killing one. Ooh. Kind of hope there's more, actually. Yep, there's one more over there. I see first aid kit. Hmm. Let's see, what's this way? Another one. Oh, it looks like that goes to probably Lost Town. Yes, yeah, so it looks like I have the choice. Explore the caves or just go straight to Lost Town. A couple baby ones. Let's go this way, because I see a medkit over here. Yeah, should be able to do a lot more damage with this type of ammo. Let's see if I can make it fall. Oh, good job, Woofer. Ah, got back up. Yeah, these are pretty damn easy. Oh, another one spotted me. Carrie just used a stim pack. Yeah, I was about to say, she must be getting pretty low at this point. 27 hit points. Ooh, she's not dead, is she? Okay. Whew. Another stim pack. I think she only had two. Oh, come on. How you doing, Carrie? Oh shit, she's almost dead. Uh oh Well, I can't... I gotta pass the turn. There's nothing I can do. Please don't... Okay, good. It missed. It missed. It missed. Ooh. Alright. Ooh. Thank God. Yeah, this is so great for XP. How am I looking? Yeah, I'm gonna level up before I leave this cave, definitely. Um, yeah, we're not looking too hot for health, though. So let's go, um... Let's go wiggle around, huh? Okay, Carrie is just wounded now. I didn't want to wait more. I mean, I'd already waited like a week at that point, so... It's gonna have to be enough. Ooh. Sledgehammer. What's that? Flare. Didn't realize there was so much stuff on the ground. Oh god. Oh no. That's an actual death claw. <laughs> okay, we're running. Goodbye. I hope the rest of my people follow me. That's nah, coming for me anyway. And I can move very, very fast. I think I can outrun it. Yeah, holy shit. It is theoretically possible to take it on. Um, if I get like a really lucky shot in it and then it's rendered unconscious, I could probably do it, but I have to be really lucky. As soon as that thing gets to me, I'm dead. Whew. Wait a minute. It stays where you left it? You gotta be kidding me. We can just run past it? Oh my god. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh my god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Quick, 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 quick. Let's make a save real quick. 
It might be, I don't know if it's totally returning back to its home, but let's just assume it is, and let's grab everything real quick. It is, it is, it's returning. Oh god, did it see me? No, I think another one saw- Oh god, there's even another one! <gasps> what is that? Hunting rifle. Is that a good rifle, or is that the really shitty one? I think the really shitty rifle is the pipe rifle. The hunting rifle might be okay. I want that really bad. I want that super bad. Okay. I am gonna try to just, like, collect everything it saw me. Okay. We're gonna try this. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. It didn't kill me? It didn't kill me. Oh man. There's an SMG over there. I want all this so bad. I just gotta try to run. I wonder which way's faster to run. Back down here? Or back up here? Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm alive. I'm alive. Okay, I can run now. But yeah, which way is better? I don't know. Well, there's another death claw down that way, so let's go this way. I cannot run it. Just hope it doesn't go for my comrades. Good. So it can catch up with me, but it doesn't have enough AP to attack me after that, so that's good. <laughs> it's got like exactly the same amount of action points as me. It's gonna be interesting going back to this place, huh? Oh. Thank God we're alive. Alright, let's see what we got. Got a bunch of teeth. Common human tooth. Apparently the previous owner didn't need it anymore. Good. Don't know what I can do with it, though. Wonder if Carrie would like the sledgehammer? Probably. Yeah, so let's see. Hunting rifle. Colt Range Master semi-automatic rifle. .223 caliber. Single shot only. Well, that's okay. I mean, I'm a sniper character after all. Okay. Let's try this out. But I have... Do I have ammo for it? Is it loaded? Yeah, 10 shots. But I don't think I have any more. No. No. Okay. I wonder how much AP it takes. Let's see. Oh, just five and six. Same as the pistol. Good. Hopefully the long-range accuracy is better than the pistol. Let's see. So from this range, 79%. I don't know if that's better. I kinda wanna go back in. Nah, I'm way too hurt. I would need to heal first. Let's give this sledgehammer to carry. See if she wants to use it. Hmm, doesn't want to use it. Maybe she can't. Maybe she doesn't have the strength. Alright, well, I guess I'll take it back and sell it.
I guess I'll give her one stim pack that she can use on herself too. Looks like a fighting ring. Distant gunshots. Well, this definitely looks like a shithole. Huh. Wonder what happened in here. Oh, they're not dead. I mean, I think it was reasonable for me to think they're dead, because there's like a bunch of dead-looking people on the ground, and then piles of goo, and then a person with a gun. Um, but I guess they're just passed out. Ah, a new lamb seeking my blessing. Welcome to my shrine. Is the blessing what made all those people pass out? Who are you? My name's Malcolm, but my flock calls me Father. He points at the junkies lying around. <laughs> what exactly do you offer here? What do I offer? God's nourishment. That's what. Nourishment that will provide you with a divine experience. I offer you elevation. So close at hand. That is what I offer here. What you mean is that you're selling drugs, right? Some people call it that. But can one poor word give justice to God's gifts? No words do them justice. They have to be felt through all of one's senses. <laughs> what do the police say about it? I'm, I don't even think the police exist here. Even if they did, they're corrupt as hell. Eh, not really their territory. <laughs> I have plenty of God's gifts here for a laughingly low price, considering the pleasure they offer to one's senses. And then this, uh, then there is, he breathes in through his nose loudly, my own creation. I call it Elevation. What's Elevation? First you have to understand, God created many substances that seem to be without purpose. But he gave us that gift, the ability to alter and combine them and thus create his gifts. Elevation is my creation, my ability. But you cannot rise up immediately. You have to proceed in small doses. Single deep inhalation for 500 caps will make you rise, not more. Even the angels themselves cannot go too close to the sun lest their wings should burn up. Uh, no thanks. What do you sell? Drugs, oh, Radaway right and Radex, so some actually good stuff. Stim packs. Yeah, they got some useful stuff. You want these teeth? Each one's worth 10 caps. What are you gonna do with them, man? Alright. Casino. Um, I think Rodriguez runs a casino, right? So that's probably where they are. Looks huge. I don't even want to enter that until I'm healed up and better equipped and everything. Wasn't there two things I was supposed to do here? One is obviously kill Rodriguez and all that. What was the other one? I totally forgot. Oh, right, the raiders. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. It seems easier than taking on someone who's supposed to be really well guarded. Is it locked? Oh, there we go. The man's trying to focus on you. He's apparently completely drunk and he's managed to stay conscious only thanks to all his effort. The heavy alcoholic stench coming out of his mouth has brought tears to your eyes. Who are you? Mumbles something and falls to the ground. 
Okay. That was an enlightening experience. Is there just like absolutely nothing here other than the casino? Where are the raiders? Hold on, maybe it's something more this direction. Ooh. Oh. I guess maybe you don't fight people in the fighting ring, you fight mole rats. Perhaps the raiders operate out of the casino? <laughs> it's certainly big enough. Alright, well now that I've been to this place, I wonder if I can fast travel to it? Let's see. In other words, I'm wondering if I don't have to go through the cave. Yeah, because it's still part of the town. Yeah, I could just go straight there. Good. Don't have to go back through the death claws, because they are waiting for me. Well, that seems like a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to head into the casino and see if I can find the raiders who I'm hoping are inside of the casino.